So we had studied the first method of linear programming, the ISO contribution line method in the previous class. Today we will be learning the simultaneous equation method. Those of you who have not watched the previous class, I request you to watch the same and then come and attend to this class. So under the ISO contribution line method, we saw that B is the optimum production plan. And how did we find B? We had placed a scale adjacent to the ISO contribution line and we had moved it parallel to the ISO contribution line away from the origin. And the point at which the scale leaves the feasible region was the optimum production plan. So in the simultaneous equation method, we don't need the scale or the ruler. So we will just get rid of it. We don't need to draw the ISO contribution line in the graph. So let's get rid of the ISO contribution line. That's the yellow line. And regarding the ISO contribution line equation, that is 4x plus 8y is equal to 4000. That didn't figure in the graph. So we will take it outside. And what was this $4,000? That was the assumed contribution. We don't need that in the simultaneous equation method. So the only detail that we need from the question is the contribution of the two products. That is the contribution per unit of X is $4 and the contribution per unit of Y is $8. Now in the previous class, we had already found out the value of X and Y for point B. So I'm not going to repeat that in this class. Now we know that the optimum production plan is at point B. But under the simultaneous equation method, we have to find that point B is the optimum production plan. So how do we find it? We know that in order to increase the contribution, we have to move further away from the origin. So the optimum production plan will either be point A, point B, point C or point D. So all that we have to find out is the contribution that is earned at point A, contribution at point B, contribution at point C, and contribution at point D. The point which gives the highest contribution is the optimum production plan. So we know the values of X and Y at point B. Now the next step is to find out the value of X and Y at point A. At point A, the value of X and Y is easily known because point A is lying on the Y axis. And at the point A, the value of the y-axis is 600. And obviously, x is equal to 0. So at point A, the value of x and y is x is equal to 0 units because point A lies on the y-axis and y is equal to 600 units. Now coming to point D. What is the value of x and y at point D? It is lying on the x-axis. x is 1000 units. And what is y? Since it lies on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So at point D, X is equal to 1000 units and Y is equal to 0 units. Now only one point is left, which is at point at point C, we have to find out the value of X and Y. Now point C is caused by the intersection of which two lines? It is 8X plus 10Y is equal to 11,000 and 12X plus 6Y is equal to 12,000. So we pick those two lines. So how can we find the values of X and Y for these two equations? It is very simple. You have to either make the coefficients of X same or the coefficients of Y same so that when you subtract equation 1 from equation 2, one of the variable will get knocked off and you will be left with only one variable. So it will be very easy to solve the equation. So what we will do is we will make the coefficient of X of both the equations same. So what is the LCM of 8 and 12? The LCM of 8 and 12 is the number 24. So we will make this 24. So what should you multiply it with? We should multiply equation 1 with the number 3. So multiplying equation 1 with 3, we get 24x plus 30y is equal to 33,000. So we have multiplied the entire equation 1 with the number 3. Now 12 multiplied by 2 is equal to 24. So we will multiply the entire equation 2 with the number 2. So equation 2 multiplied by 2, you get 24x plus 12y is equal to 24,000. So that we will mark as equation 4. Now if you subtract equation 4 from equation 3, then x will get knocked off because the coefficient of x is the same. And we will be left with only one variable, namely y. So equation 3 minus equation 4, we get 24 minus 24, it's 0. So that gets knocked off. 30y minus 12y is equal to 18y. 
and 33,000 minus 24,000 is 9,000. So y is equal to 9,000 divided by 18 or 500 units. Now it is very easy to find out x. How do we find out x? We can substitute the value of y is equal to 500 in any of the four equations. So we will substitute y is equal to 500 in equation 1 and we get x as 750 units. So for point C, we got the value of x is 750 units and y as 500 units. So we are finally done with finding the values of x and y for the four points A, B, C and D. Now all that we have to do is we have to find the contribution at all these points. Now the next step is to find out the contribution generated for each of the points from A to D. So we know that the total contribution of both the products is given by 4x plus 8y. So for point A, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 600. So substituting those values in the contribution equation, we get 4 into 0 plus 8 into 600. So the contribution at point A is $4,800. Now going to point B. B, the value of x is 625 and y is equal to 600. So substituting the values of x and y in the contribution equation, we get 4 into 625 plus 8 into 600, which gives a contribution of $7,300. Now going to point C. Now for point C, x is equal to 750 units and y is equal to 500 units. So again, substituting the values of x and y in the contribution equation, we get the answer as $7,000. Now moving to point D, x is 1,000 and y is equal to 0 units. And the resulting contribution when we substitute these figures in the contribution equation is $4,000. So among the four contributions, $7,300 is the highest contribution. And that contribution is related to point B. So what is the optimum production plan? or the plan which gives the maximum contribution if we produce 625 units of X and 600 units of Y, we get the maximum contribution. So this is the same answer that we got under the ISO contribution line method. So whether you adopt the ISO contribution line method or simultaneous equation method, we will get the very same answer for the optimum production plan. <music> So under the simultaneous equation method, the first step is to identify the feasible region. The next step is to mark the corner points of the feasible region. So in this particular case, it is A, B, C and D. Next, you have to find the values of X and Y for all these points. That is for each of these points, you have to find the values of X and Y. And then what is the next step? You have to substitute the value of x and y in the contribution equation. So this was a contribution equation in our example, 4x plus 8y. So the x and y values of each point should be substituted in the contribution equation. And what is the final step? The point that yields the highest contribution is the optimum production plan. So you have to compare the contribution obtained and then the highest contribution should be selected and that will be your optimum production plan. I request you to take a screenshot of the recap slide so that it would be very easy for you to revise on the eve of the examination. <music>